his house is a sale. If you want to buy, come. I'll give it to you for free. Go and cut them. Go and cut them off. You want to cut somebody's son, somebody's daughter off. Yeah. She said she's straight from London. Yeah. She went in with that girl down. Yeah. Straight from London. Girl looking cute on her counter. But she came through on the dance floor. Got my feelings and now she wonder. Yeah. Straight from London. Girl looking cute on her counter. But she came through on the dance floor. Got my feelings and now she wonder. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here and you don't know who i am hello i'm janice you can just go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already and join the family so before i get into the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let's get started first of all happy new year guys it's a whole new year it's 2020 it's a new decade like okay so for today's video i'm just going to be talking about a few things i believe we should all stop in 2020 so the first thing i want to be talking about is negative energy this year like i need to stress on this all that kind of negative energy you have in you from whenever you were born to 2019 it's okay it's enough it's enough release it let it go because this year no kind of pessimism like don't bring your negative energy anywhere not near me not near other positive people in fact you yourself let it go and be positive let it be positive because yeah that all that negative energy is not healthy it's just a lot of hate and it's not good just release it and be free <laughs> and a negative energy i just want to talk about pessimism being a hater and stepping on people's success because a lot of you do that number one just stop being pessimistic yeah we all know sometimes things don't go our way things don't go as planned but if you're entering something with the mindset that it's not going to go well how do you want it to go well like some of you try some stuff and you're already like I know it will end up well. I know it won't go well. I know it won't turn out good. Then of course it won't. At least have a little hope. Have a little hope that it will go well. If it doesn't, well, too bad. Try again. It's life. But don't go into it already believing that it won't go well. So put away your pessimism and learn to be a little bit more optimistic. Number two, being a hater. Stop hating on others, guys. Stop. Just stop. Some of you, like you do like it's your job like you're being paid to like hate on other people like someone will post a picture and everyone else has something nice to say then you are that one person coming in the comments to just say something rude to just say something mean so that will happen are you getting paid does it benefit you basically just stop hating on other people everyone has their preferences everyone has what they like i'm not telling you to like everything everyone does or like every picture or like every video yeah you might not like it and there's a difference between giving feedback and just hating on the person if you believe the person could do better you can't tell the person without hating on oh you did this and that and i think you went wrong here somewhere you can't do this better and instead of just like why because <laughs> honestly you have no idea how much those hate comments can actually affect someone and change their whole mood their whole demeanor can cause someone to have some anxiety and depression and it's you it's all because of you one little hate comment yeah yeah so yeah if you don't like something i'll advise you to just keep it to yourself if you're not going to help the person to like better upon it then just keep it to yourself if you like it sure give a good comment give a good remark if you don't like it just keep quiet just keep it to yourself the last thing about negative energy i'll be talking about is stepping on other people's success sometimes sometimes people like people get up and they want to do something they want to do something with their life they get ideas they want to be creative and okay they are trying their best 
like there's a start to everything everyone starts from somewhere it might not start off so well but then they're trying at least they're doing something you yeah they are not doing anything with your life but then you have the mouth to talk about somebody's issue <laughs> simple just stop stepping on other people's success if you won't be happy for the person Stay in your corner. Don't do anything. Don't try to bring the person down. Because I don't know what you get from it. You bringing that person down is not going to lift you up. You just would be at the same level. So either you also do something to lift yourself up. Or you stay where you are in peace. Period. <laughs> so the second thing I think we should all stop in 2020. Like I know the year has already started. But it's never too late to stop. Is living in the past. Yeah, we all have some regrets sometimes. We all think like, oh, I wish this didn't happen. I wish I could change this. I wish this, I wish that, I wish blah, blah, blah. Well, well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you can't change it. You can't do anything about the past. The past is the past. You can only work on bettering your now and your future. So instead of spending all your time and all your energy on complaining about what happened in the past, or worrying yourself about something that happened in the past you can just use all that effort into making sure you do better now and in the future because yeah that's what that's what is important now in your future that's all you can build up on you can't build up on your past it's gone it's done finish it's over <laughs> my simple advice to you is to just be able to let some things go Stop holding unnecessary grudges because it's it takes so much energy from you to hold a grudge against someone or a situation and like just letting it go you feel like how free you actually are after you do let it go so let go of all those grudges this year and let's move forward guys let's move forward it's not only another year it's another decade so we need to move forward the third thing I want to talk about, and this is even an issue I've been battling with, but like I'm so determined to let it go this year. And I believe you guys should also try to do the same. This is procrastination. Like, yo, this is a huge issue. You might not even realize this, but like, just, just take a moment and think, yeah. If you had a receipt for every time you procrastinated, or you push something to last minute, or just didn't do something because you're just lazy. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, majority of the time, we procrastinate not because we have something other to do, or like we are busy. Majority of the time, it's just because we just don't want to do it, or we are too lazy, or we believe we are tired. Most of the time, you're not even tired, though, because if you actually got up and did it, you realize you're not tired. Maybe your bed is just too comfortable. But like this year, <laughs> we need to stop procrastinating, guys. Get up, do whatever it is you have to do, and when you're done, you honestly be glad you did it, and you wait till the next day or whatever. Cause we just have three hundred sixty-five days in this year, and then every year except wait this year we have twenty-ninth February, so. So we just have 365 days in a year, so like, you can't waste that time. You can't waste it. Don't waste your days, guys. We are growing old. <laughs> Don't waste your days. Stop procrastinating. Do whatever you have to do and let a new day come with new duties and new responsibilities. Don't carry today's issues to tomorrow. Just finish it. Finish it before like the day ends yeah that's all i have to say the next thing i want to talk about is not being communicative i know a lot of people have issues with this you may not even realize it but maybe you do and let me just talk a little about it honestly guys most of us are not communicative enough we don't voice out our issues we don't voice out our problems we don't voice out what we want this really has nothing to do with whether whether you're an introvert or an extrovert i'm not asking you to go out and socialize with the whole world i'm asking you to be communicative this can be in your school in your family in your friendships in your relationships your job wherever just learn to be more connected just let's be more communicative because sometimes we want something or we don't like something or we need something and just because you are not bold enough or confident enough 
or sometimes you even feel like oh i don't want to be a bother i don't want to worry anyone so you don't see anything like sometimes you have it all in your head like i don't like this and this i want this and this to happen and someone will ask you oh are you cool with it like do you like it and just because you don't want to see anything you're just like oh yeah it's fine but you know it's not fine if it's not fine speak out like say something don't just accept it because because <laughs> just say something about it because it can make a huge difference if you actually say something most of you are battling so many issues and having so many problems just because you didn't say anything about it like we need to stop assuming that people are psychics no one's a psychic you can't expect anyone to know what you want understand how you feel if you don't actually speak about it like speak out say what's on your mind if it's in a relationship and you have an issue say the issue don't expect your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whoever to magically know that this and this is bothering you you have a problem with this and this if not, the situation can be solved no one can change if they have to and you are going to suffer because it's bothering you it's not bothering anyone else it's like just speak about it nobody is going to come and cut your head off because she spoke your mind you can speak your mind without being mean it's like don't think oh maybe you're being disrespectful there's a difference between disrespect and saying whatever you have to say speak your mind whatever you can do everything without being rude without being mean you can say what you want in a nice way face it well and hopefully it goes well for you and hopefully you get what you want even if you don't well it's still better at least you know you tried it's still better than keep quiet about it because if you keep quiet about it there's always the thought of what if i said it and what if what if what if stop living with what ifs guys like speak up the next thing is losing yourself with i can't stress on this enough honestly so many of us have lost our self-worth and our self-respect and have just merely stopped loving ourselves for the sake of friendships relationships being nice being a good person but you guys i need to understand something real quick like there's nothing wrong with helping others there's nothing wrong with loving others being there for other people but if you don't love yourself first you can't love anyone else you need to understand that you need to love yourself first i'm not this has nothing to do with pride it's just a mere fact of self-worth and self-respect because if you love yourself most of the stuff you are going through you would have never allowed it to happen to you in the first place. You need to understand. You really need to understand that self-love should come first. You can't show other people love if you don't have it yourself. Learn to love yourself. Learn to respect yourself. Learn to not put yourself in certain situations. Like, if you see a situation coming for you, you should know, uh-uh, not me. I'm not going through this. No, I respect myself too much to put myself through this. I respect myself too much to be hurt by this in that situation. I respect myself too much to whatever. Once you have self-worth and self-respect and self-love, honestly, most of the battles you are battling, they'll just die because you wouldn't even allow them to happen to you in the first place. So yeah, learn to love yourself, guys. Don't lose yourself. Don't forget who you are. Don't change yourself in the name of any friendship or relationship or anything. Because if the person can't love you for who you are... Well, boo-boo. Bye, then. Bye. Sometimes we all have some characters or traits about us that are not too good and people point it out. That's a difference. That's a whole different situation. Someone is pointing something about us that the person feels we could do better with or it's just not good. That's something totally different. And once we are able to see like, oh yeah, this is a bad trait of mine and I should change. Okay, change. But then when it comes to the point where someone is complaining about your entire personality and no one else has ever had a problem with your personality except this one person. The person just wants you to change completely who you are just so yeah for his or her benefits then sorry but they are toxic and they need to go <laughs> yeah don't lose yourself about anyone guys learn to have self-worth and self-respect and you'll be just fine okay so the last thing i'm going to talk about <laughs> is that whole i'm cutting you off i'm cutting you off I'm cutting you off issues this year. If you want to buy, 
come i'll give it to you for free go and cut them go and cut them off you want to cut somebody's son somebody's daughter off honestly i'm not saying cutting people out of your life is wrong if you have your reasons if you believe they are too toxic to be in your life if you believe you do better without them then go ahead and live your life without them that's not what i'm complaining about i just want to understand why everyone will wait till it's new year's eve and then they know that they have to cut some people off so throughout the year or from whether whenever you got to know them or whenever you got to realize they are toxic people you couldn't do anything about it you dealt with them being toxic you kept them in your life you maintained their friendships and now it's 31st and you know that they are toxic you want them out <laughs> If anyone, if you feel anyone or any friendship or any relationship is toxic and not good for your mental health or just not good for your being and you feel you could do better without them, okay, go ahead and do better without them. It's not that big of a deal. Go and live your life without them. Tell them, as it is, I'm sorry, but I can't continue whatever it is you have with the person and just go on and live your life and be happy if they are not contributing to your happiness but then the fuck that you wait most of the time this is not <laughs> who are you cutting off who are you cutting off all the people in your life are actually down for you but in the name of oh it's new year and yeah i'm going to cut you off i'm going to cut you off i'm going to cut you off why should we come and beg you to be your friends <laughs> like majority of the time the people in your life are actually down for you and actually truly your friends so who are you going to cut off honestly who 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 okay so at this point it's just it's up to you if every year you want to keep cutting people off go ahead go ahead my dear go ahead all you can do to help yourself honestly is have a better mindset don't just be friends with anyone don't be friends with someone that is toxic in the first place if you happen to become friends with someone and later in the friendship realize that they are toxic at the point where you do realize they are toxic and you don't want to keep your friendship with them break that friendship that's it honestly and if they are really your friends you rather help them to change or become a better person or whatever if you feel like you can't and you want to break the friendship do it there and then don't maintain the friendship even though you yourself you're being fake and people should also cut you off because you're fake hey guys <laughs> So I'm I'm done with the video. Those are all my points. Happy New Year, everyone! I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, I hope to be way more consistent this year. Have a wonderful time. Have a wonderful year. Let go. Let go of the hate and the negativity, guys. Cause this year I want it to be a good year for all of us. Don't forget to, you know, give it a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe if you haven't, click that bell button to get a notification every time I upload. And yeah. Bye guys and I'll be back with more videos. Free side freaky like a ghost. She from London, says she from across the coast. The ass on live, you cannot put in a post. Coca-Cola condo, she got it from my mother. I know do girl, girl, girl. Please come through on a night who's up. You keep doing what you're doing, doing what you're doing. Said you be my baby, you be my lady. Hey. Be my lady. Mm, yeah, flat on my wrist, flat on my wrist, flat on my shoes. Yeah.